So I'm just going to do a short video today. Um, I've just kind of been reminded by somebody, Tim, uh, that I had not updated my custom commands. So I have a custom commands tab here, and this is in Autodesk 2020. So I have currently been using 2021 for the last couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and haven't had the time to get my settings over. So if you see, if I open my 2021, I do not have the tab here with my custom settings. So to transfer these, what we need to do is go back into 2020 and we'll go into our custom user interface. Now, there's an issue with this. Uh, it's clashing with the stairs macro thingy from uh, Great Tech, but it still opens. <coughs> so what we're going to do is um, we want to do a transfer. So click on transfer. So you'll see here, this is the main customization file. So the one I'm currently using, and this is the new file. So we have two tabs. So what we're going to do is we go to ribbons and tabs and we'll scroll down to find my advanced detailing and modeling, which is there it is. So we just catch this. What we'll do is we'll open our toolbar or sorry, we'll open our ribbons over here and into tabs. So we want to put it into the same place. So select this and move it into tabs and there you can see so now it's copied that over so now we want to save this so I'm just going to save it to my download folders and I'll call it advanced steel 2020 transfer 11 for 2020 and then we'll save that Alright, so the file is saved. We can close that down. Uh, we'll leave this open for now. We'll minimize that. And uh, let's go to our advanced steel 2020. So let's get this inside the window. And we want to go back into our CUI. So go CUI. And if we go to our ribbon tab, we'll scroll down through here. Let's see what we do. We do not have the advanced detailing and modeling, which is my custom one. We do not have this here. So what we're going to do is go to transfer again. Then we're going to go to open file. We're going to select the transfer file, open it. So now this is our file. If you click on the ribbon tab, you'll see that's the one I copied. And we want to copy that back in over here to our ribbon tab. So just drag it over. And I guess we can put it anywhere. Put it there. And, uh, panel. There it is at the top tabs. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to customize. So we've already copied that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our advanced steel default, or sorry, our advanced steel default. And we're going to do customize workspace. And you can click on your palettes, your ribbons tab. You can see we do not have it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here, go to ribbon. You can see that now we're allowed to change these. So I'm going to click on this and it will appear over here. So now it is available. So what I'm going to do is come back over here and see if I can drag this up. So I like to have it as my third. I think I have it between object and extended modeling. So there it's included, do done, apply. 
you'll see this gets updated. It won't take effect until we close out this. It shouldn't. And now you'll see there's my advanced detailing and modeling tab with all my commands in it. So, uh, hopefully that helps you. All right. Uh, anything anyone needs, if I can help, I will. Any suggestions? All right. All right. Thank you.